What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit. This is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash entitled parents. This story's called, Be Roommates with My Son and Give Him Your Games and Food. Hey, people of Reddit, this isn't my story, but it's my cousins. My cousins and their roommate told me this story last January. I thought it was funny, so I thought I'd share. By the way, cousin and his roommates are both 16 and my little cousin is 12. An entitled mom demanded that her 12-year-old first-year son be allowed to live in the room with my cousins and their roommate. Meet everybody. Older cousin. Little cousin. Roommate. Entitled mom. Entitled kid. Security guard. Entitled kid's roommate. The setting. My cousins go to a very elite, private, all-boys school, grades 6 through 12, in the New England region of the United States. So, it's not uncommon to encounter an entitled parent and kid here or there. Now, let me state that my cousins are not entitled. They apply for financial aid and have campus jobs to afford the $60,000 a year tuition. Now, my older cousin is the student body president of the school. Because of this, the president gets a room that is 1,200 square feet, has a fully functional kitchen and bathroom. The room also had a large living space, balcony, and office. The other rooms just have two beds, two closets, one desk, and a small window. They are around 150 square feet. Because my little cousin is related to older cousin, he was allowed to live in the room versus the standard dorms. Cousin's roommate was also the student body treasurer, so the dean allowed him to live in the room too, because he was my cousin's friend. With three guys living together, there was a surplus of video games and junk food. Just guys being guys. With the new semester starting, student body officers have to help with orientation, helping the parents get the first year students settled in. Because little cousin was already settled in, he was just playing games on the PS4 with the door open. Cue entitled mom and kid. Entitled mother, nice at first. Excuse me? Yes? I'm looking for my son's dorm and I can't find it. Can you? You help me hey i'm new here myself so i don't know much my brother is responsible for helping first year so let me call him entitled mother and her son wait for about 25 minutes for older cousin to arrive so little cousin was playing games with entitled kid on the ps4 eating junk food and showed them around the room older cousin arrives hey i'm older cousin you must be the mom trying to find her son's dorm entitled mother now rude yes i've been waiting for someone to help me Older cousin first disregards her tone as orientation day is hard. Older cousin goes on his phone with the info that the mom gives and directs her. Apparently, entitled kid only lives down the hallway to the left. Entitled mom leaves entitled kid with his luggage and leaves. Entitled kid says in that gosh awful voice as he's leaving, I want to play more games. Entitled mom says, you can later. Older cousin has this jeez look on his face, closes the door and plays on the PS4 with little cousin. Ten minutes later, there are loud bangs on the door. Older cousin sees who it is. It's entitled mom and her brat. They have returned with his luggage. I need your help now! Her brat runs to the PS4. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Entitled mother starts whining. My son's room is small. It's not like this one. Who do we talk to about this? Um, I'm sorry if you're unsatisfied with your living situation. You'll have to talk to a counselor about a situation. And nobody has a room like this one because I'm the president. Entitled kid starts rummaging through games. Do you have Fortnite? Hey, put that down. Don't talk to my son that way. Besides, my son needs more living space. Do something. At this time, Entitled Kid is still rummaging. Little Cousin then pushes him to the side and locks the game cabinet, and he starts screaming. Roommate was also returning to the room with his lunch. I want to play games! This is our room. You can't use my things if I don't want you to. I wanna! Roommate enters the room. What's going on? Entitled Mother interrupts. These boys won't help me find a room like this one for my son. Oh, that's impossible. This is the only room that is like this one besides this room is only for the president entitled mother condescendingly then how come you're here 
Roommate explains, Little cousin is related to older cousin, so he can stay here. I'm in student government with older cousin and he allows me to live here. Yeah, I told her that. Entitled mother then says to older cousin and roommate, You should let my son live here. Entitled kid overhears his mom. He now thinks that he lives in the room. He goes to the fridge and tries to get a soda. Little cousin blocks him and says, You are not our guest, nor do you live here. Don't touch our food. F you, this is my room room too and you have to share. Get your kid out because he's a nuisance and bothering my brother. No! Older cousin and roommates are not having it. They ask her politely yet firmly to leave. Entitled mother walks in and proceeds to unpack her son's luggage. Entitled kid is also having a fit because little cousin isn't letting entitled kid have any food. Mom, he won't let me have some donuts! Don't worry, mommy will help you after I unpack you. Older cousin and roommate firmly say, Your son isn't living here. Yes, he is. My son is an angel. You should be glad to be friends with him. I am not interested in living or being friends with your son. Leave now. Entitled mom ignores older cousin and continues to unpack with her entitled kids screaming, I want donuts. He then screams at little cousin, I want to play your games. Little cousin says, no. The kid then starts high-pitched screaming. Older cousin, little cousin, and roommate have had enough of this charade and then proceed to drag them out and throw his luggage in the hallway and lock the door. Entitled mom and son continue to bang and howl. Phrasing. Entitled mom promises that she'll get her son back in, so she leaves. At this time, friends were coming over and someone accidentally let entitled kid in the room. People confused ask who he is. Entitled Kid says, I'm Entitled Kid, I live here! Entitled Kid then starts demanding to use the PS4. Older Cousin sees him and kicks him out again, with him shouting, I wanna stay! His mom then returns with a security guard. These boys kicked my son out of his room! Do something! Lady, I know for a fact that your son doesn't live here. He needs to stay here. This room is so much better than the other ones. Security guard then asks if the mom is bothering them. Everybody says yes. He says, I'll take care of the mom. And asks cousins to take care of the kid. Entitled kid is dragged out again, shouting, My daddy will F you up for this! The mom was escorted off the campus grounds. Older cousin and roommate forcibly removed Entitled Kid into his room for him. Little cousin ended up becoming friends with Entitled Kid's roommates as the months have passed. Entitled Kid has been so bratty and annoying that Entitled Kid's roommate has had sleepovers with Little Cousin almost every night. Because of this, Entitled Kid packs an overnight bag and almost always follows his roommate and demands to be let in. I was told it goes down like this. Let me in, roomie! You can't have a sleepover without me! Go away! We are never letting you in! I want to see my roomie! He'll vouch for me! You can't play games or have a sleepover without me! Entitled Kid's roommate comes out and puts his ice cream on the table. I stay here like four to five days a week because I need a break from you. Please go away. OMG! Traitor! So much for loyalty! The least you can do is share that ice cream! Roommate gets up and closes the door. OMG! Let me in! I'm not playing! My cousins, roommates, and entitled kids' roommate turn up the volume on the TV louder and tune out his pleas and crying. They later woke to him sleeping at the front of the door at 6 a.m. He stayed there for 10 hours. I know it was a long story, so thanks for sticking through it all. If you want an update about Entitled Kid, I'll ask my cousins to share more stories, which I'm sure they have plenty of. Okay, first off, who else thinks it would have been baller to grow up in like a Zoe 101 type of situation, kind of like this, but like everyone has like a super cool room and everyone's super cool and cool and just all cool and stuff. I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, now for part two from Entitled Parents, not people, because parents aren't people. Hey, people of Reddit, my cousins gave me a recent update about the Entitled Mom and her Entitled Son that has been harassing them during the school year. If you haven't read my first post, stop and read the first one so you can understand the setting. We already did. So my cousins, their roommate, and Entitled Kid's roommate were going on vacation President's Day weekend. Entitled Mom demanded that her son 
son be allowed to vacation to New York City with them. This was on Entitled People, but my cousin said I should also post here to share the love. So Entitled Kids roommate's parents live in New York City around Fifth Avenue. For those of you who don't know, Fifth Avenue is some of the most expensive real estate in the city. Entitled Kids roommate's parents were allowing my cousins and their roommate to stay in New York for free, with meals included because they are friends with Entitled Kids roommate. All my cousins had to do was drive there, which is around three hours. As Entitled Kid has been harassing my cousins, their roommate and his roommate semester, he overheard the conversation and demanded to go. When his attempts to go fails, he then calls his mom, who drives from another state, to demand that the gang take her son on vacation with them. Meet everybody. Older cousin. Little cousin. Roommate. Entitled mom. Entitled kid. Security Captain, the Dean. Entitled Kids Roommate. So in February on the 20th, my cousins, their roommates, and Entitled Kids Roommate are talking to Little Cousin to try and get a game plan together for the New York trip. Entitled Kid hears Entitled Kids Roommate's phone call about planning the trip, and then it goes as follows. Um, hey, where are you going? Um, home to New York with the guys. Why? Can I come too? Please? I think not. Why not? I don't want you at my house or around my family. Entitled Kid gets pissed and starts getting upset, then Entitled Kid's roommate then goes to the room to hang out with my cousins and their roommate. Entitled Kid then follows, the door is shut in his face. Let me in! Everyone tells him to go away and they proceed to plan for the vacation. Entitled Kid then proceeds to say, let me in or I'll get my mom! Everyone knows that his mom lives another state away, so everyone was like, Go get her then. The gang proceeded to plan the New York trip with Entitled Kid begging to be let in. This proceeded for three hours and then his mom came. She drove from the next state over. She knocked on the door, they opened it, and it went like this. Just so you know, my older cousin didn't remember who Entitled Mom was at first because it had been a month since he'd last seen her, but her behavior soon jogged his memory. Around this time, everyone was preparing to leave as they had made all the final preparations. Hello, can I help you? Yes, my son says you won't let him go to New York with you guys. Why won't you? Older cousin has this, why me? Look on his face and says, I'm sure that you remember our last conversation. Me, my roommate, and brother want nothing to do with your son. The place where we are staying is Entitled Kid's roommate's house, and he has expressed that he doesn't want him to come. Entitled Mom and Kid look pissed, and she says that she can pay for her son to go if that's the problem. Then Little Cousin gets involved. Look, it doesn't matter that you can pay for him to go. We just don't want him to go. He is going. Don't you know who I am? How dare you speak to me that way? My son will be going with you on this trip and that's that. Then Entitled Kid's roommate gets involved. Hey, I don't want your kid at my house. Seriously, he's been bothering me all semester and has made things harder for me. I sure as hell don't want him near my family or my home. Entitled Kid butts in with his attitude. Oh my god, why do you have to be so mean? You spent all your time here and never invite me. You have to let me come to make it up to me. No, I don't. It's my house. Then Entitled Kid starts wailing and demands his mom let him go to New York with them. Older cousin with an annoyed and sarcastic voice says, Well, nice seeing you again. Bye! The gang proceeds to lock up the room and bring the luggage down to the car. Everyone goes on one last bathroom break before going on the road. However, little cousin didn't lock the car. For those of you that know, Fords have a keypad on the driver door to lock and unlock the car. Little cousin didn't press the buttons right and the car didn't lock. When the gang came back to the car, Entitled Kid was in the back seat with his headphones on, with his mom waving as she drives away. Hey, come back! Have fun in New York! The gang realizes that her kid has just been dumped on them and that they are stuck. 
Little Cousin says that we should call security. So Older Cousin does. They explain on the phone that Entitled Mom dumped her kid on them and that they are bringing him over because he is not their responsibility. Entitled Kid takes off his headphones and says, Come on already! Get this crap box! 94 Crown Victoria and gear! Now the security guard is around half a mile from the dorm, so for a while, Entitled Kid had this look on his face like he had won. When the gang pulls up to the security office, his smirk disappears, as both the captain of the school and the Dean were there. The captain says, You want to explain what you are doing in older cousin's car? Entitled Kid is sweating bullets and nervously says, I'm going on vacation. My mom said I could. The captain then says to the gang, Is this true? We all said, No, his mom just demanded that we let him go. She put him in and drove off. The captain then orders Entitled Kid out of the car. Entitled Kid then asks for older cousin to pop the trunk so he can get his bag out. Everyone just has this, you gotta be kidding look when he said that. The Dean, who I'm told is a very kind old man, he gave Entitled Kid a very firm talking to. It went like this. In my 35 years, I've never had to deal with a more petulant child than you. I was light on your punishment the first time. That won't be the case this time. Your behavior is unacceptable. You have put me in an impossible position. The Dean and the Captain take Entitled Kid away and he was severely punished. He was put on probation so that meant he couldn't participate in sports or other events. He was given 20 days detention doing landscaping and he had security guard personally escort him to and from his classes. All in all, the gang had a pretty good vacation. Entitled Mom did call Entitled kid's roommate's phone to lay into everybody. She was quickly blocked and the gang hasn't heard from her since. P.S. If you want an update, let me know and I'll see what's going on. They say that they have many stories about this kid and his awful mom. Thanks for sticking through the long read. Yes, uh, get more stories. We need to hear more about this stupid stupidity that seems to surround this woman and her child. Like goodness gracious, these people just don't really worry about imposing, do they? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.